Randy for Thunder Horse Ascended. I'm here today with just a little super cute earring making video. <laughs> Truth being told, I was getting ready to do some of my planned videos um, for Softlex and Bark and Bead Box, etc, etc. And <laughs> my desk was a mess. So I was like, let's just clean, make these little things, make a little video about it as we go because that's kind of a thing I do. So anyways, we're gonna make some mushroom earrings. They're super cute and um, I don't know, I quite enjoy them, so I thought, why not? So here we are. Uh, I should premise this video by saying we are in a working studio. Everybody is here today. Jefferson is home. Um, Shannon is here working. The animals are involved. Everybody's involved. <laughs> So if you hear some noises and such, that's what's happening. Um, also, just wanted to let you know that um, I will be posting these up in my uh, handmade jewelry shop, hopefully in the next day or so. Um, so if you want to run over there and check that out, it is www.thunderhorse-descendant.com. And we have in there the bead store, the handmade jewelry store, and the home and gift section. So you would click jewelry store, and then you can search earrings. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Let's get down to the mat. Get this party started. All right, guys, here we are on the mat. So these are just super cute. Oh, hold on. Hi, Bixby. Put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Do Not Disturb is now on. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Um, these are just little mushrooms that we are going to be selling these. Um, on the next bead sale uh, we were not going to have a live bead sale we are going to have as I'm practicing to go to Arizona so one week will be a live on that Monday which we did last week and then the following Monday is where we're going to show a premiere video and already have the things posted in the shop so these are going to be coming um, the 24th of October so if you want some I think you get a whole strand of them and they're like $12 or something uh, the strands look like this just in case you're wondering, I took all these off of here. Um, I use two just because, as you can see, they line up perfectly. Are they not the cutest things you've ever seen? So these are glass, little glass mushrooms. So I am just going to whip up a couple pair for the website, and I thought I'd bring you all along for the ride. Because why not? Because that's what we do. <laughs> so I am just going to use some ball head pins, and I'm going to start by putting on a little clear bead. Now the reason for that is I did use these on Friday. I made I made some stuff with these and um, sometimes like when I just put it on here because they are glass they're you know so some went through some had bigger holes some did not so I just found it easiest to just use a clear seed bead. Put that on there. And then I have some crystals here um, and some metal because I love a little metal. Dang cute, I think. And easy. I use these on the Friday night light box and fun when I very first got them when I came home because clearly I was excited about them. And that's how I found out it's just easy if you use the clear bead. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get these ready. Do a couple of different styles here. Like with a bigger one. I don't really care for that. Oops. 
Okay, da da da. Here we go. Do I have two of those? I must. I'm even wearing my my mushroom bracelet. <laughs> I just realized that. Um, I think we do have some more of these uh, stainless steel mushroom bracelet kits on the site. I'm not seeing that same green bead in here. I see this one buzz round. Let me see. Maybe it's in here. Doesn't look like it's in here. As I just drop them all in there. Maybe it's in here. <laughs> this is where I keep my mishmash of crystal. Uh, no. It's not in there. What the heck? Okay. Well, let's see what we can come up with. Maybe the green round one? No. We don't have another green one like that. But that's fine. We'll just use a different color. That's kind of like a peachy color. Works for me. Yellow ones are super cute. <laughs> Hello, might want to put a mushroom on there. <laughs> I know, maybe it's going to be one of those days <laughs> I hope not I have a lot of recording to do today <laughs> ah, oh my goodness those are cute Kind of a teal color. Okay, and then I got a couple here. I thought I'd put a few charms on. So, we could do... These little hearts. These little guys. These could be cute. I also have some little yin yangs. I don't know if I care for that. 
Um, oh, these are cool. Those will have to go. Well, I guess they have gold and silver. Let's try those. We'll do a couple of these and a couple of those. I don't know if I'm really in love with that. Maybe it's the color of the mushroom. It might have been, because this looks kind of better. What's the deal with these? Some of them are kind of funky. I love this little white mushroom, he's super cute. <laughs> I like those, those are going to be cute. Um, then we'll try some with these guys on. Those are going to be cute too. Blue, 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 blue. Horrible.
Oh. Where did you go, little blue bead? This one? This one doesn't look like it's the same color. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna go with the dark blue then. Those ones are cute. I like this. Okay, and then we got a few silver. I mean, I guess I have these out. I can probably... Some of these are kind of a little walkity walk. I don't think I'll use this. Again. Uh, let me grab a couple more gold items. I spilled, <laughs> I spilled stuff all over my desk the other day. <clears throat> so it is possible that I am missing this other purple mushroom because things went flying or maybe it's here somewhere and I just can't see it. But things were flying everywhere. <laughs> so I'll have to probably look for him. But in the interim, I'm just going to grab a, some that are matching. I do have two purple there. That one's cute. I, I guess I just think they're all cute, really. <laughs> oh. This one kind of looks like the, the game one. Because it's red. I would say the name of the game, but I don't know if I can. Okay, so I have these done, and then I'm going to whip up a couple of um, the silver ones. Some of these are kind of... Where's my wire strainer at? Oh, I can't find my wire strainer right now. So, in lieu of the wire straightener, I'm just going to use the, uh, the nylon jaw player. worked out. He's busy. Okay, so these are silver now. So I don't have any little silver. Oh yeah, I thought these would be cute. Maybe they'll be cute, I don't know. Yeah, they're cute.
Um, and then the other ones I wanted to try with these silver is I have some little birds. And I thought, oh, wouldn't these little birds be super cute on top? So. And see, come on, camera. Is that not the cutest thing? All right. Um, we go ahead. Maybe a brown crystal. See how that looks. I think it's cute. I like those little bird ones. one the stick is a little wonky. Let me get rid of that one. Use this one here. Yeah, those little birds are so cute. <clears throat> I'm gonna get two more silver three inch head pins here. And we're one clear seed bead shy. Oh. Maybe I'll make this extra purple one since I uh, can't seem to find the other one. Maybe I'll make it as a little pendant and I'll just make it as a bird one to match these. That would probably be okay. That's one more bird and a purple.
Alright. And that'll be for that guy there. Three. Alright, you guys. So there we go. We're all wound up. Uh, some sort of cute designs, I think. Uh, get this out of the way. So I'm going to show you how, in case you don't know how, to do a wire wrap on one of these. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wind up the rest and get them connected to ear wires and show you what they look like finished, okay? So if you don't know how to do this, what you're going to need is some earring wires. Whichever ones you decide to use is perfectly fine. I'm going to use these gold latchbacks. So let's start here with this one. Okay. So for the purpose of this video, <clears throat> I'm just gonna just so it's easier for everything to focus. I'm just gonna put this mat on top so you can just see this. Okay. So um in order to do this, all you need to do is get your round nose and you're just going to leave a little smidge of space. Okay, so here's the thing important to note. Wherever you're going to be on the barrel of your round nose, you need to make sure that you're going to be in the same place when you do the next one because this is a tapered barrel. It gets larger as it goes up and the like if you put it here for this one and here for this one, you're going to wind up with two different size loops and your earrings are going to hang at different lengths. Okay. So a way to remedy that if you haven't already is you can take a permanent marker and just draw a line on your plier. So you know you're getting in the same place. I make a lot of loops and I kind of just have a place where I put them. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so anyways, what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to leave a little bit of space. This is too much, but you're going to want to leave a little bit of space here because when you do your wire wrap, that wrap's going to need somewhere to go. So what you should know is that when you, you're first going to make a bend, anything underneath that bend to this bead is going to be where your wraps are going to go. So you want to leave a little bit of space. So I leave about that much space because you're going to... I would say it's about two to three millimeters. You could probably get a, like if you took a standard size crimp cover, you could probably fit it in that space. Okay. So I'm going to bend and then I'm going to bring it over the top, still holding pressure. Okay. Now we're going to watch this hand. If you don't know how, you're going to let go of pressure. Spin your plier to the top, apply pressure, bring the tail 90 degrees to create a loop. You see how it's making a loop? Power flat. Okay, so you're like this, correct? You're like this. So now what you're going to do is you're going to release pressure, spin to the other side, opposite of where you started. Okay. And you're just going to want to make sure that you have created a perfect loop. Okay. So now you can kind of tighten that wire. Now that you're holding the side, you can kind of tighten that up. You're going to spin back to the top. And it works for me if I hold it sideways. And then I'm going to grab the tail and I'm going to start to wrap. I'm going to wrap closest to the player first and down towards the bead, letting the wires fall where they want to fall. So you're going to get about two, two and a half, or three wraps, depending on, you know, how much space you've left. So now you have this. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your flush cutter. You're going to flush cut up against the bead. There's going to be a little smidge sticking out. That's fine. You're going to then bring in your chain nose. What I do is I straighten up this loop first because if you, if it's crooked or something you straighten it up it's going to pull in that tail a little bit which is what you want you want that tail to be hidden anyway so also it's going to work hard in this loop a little bit then you're going to come around here and very carefully you are going to take the very tippy tip and you're going to push in that little tail 
without breaking your top bead here. And there you go. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of them. I will just attach this to the earring wire with a jump ring. And that's all she wrote. Okay, I'll see you guys back at the top. Here we are, all wound up without our, uh, still gotta put earring wires on. Those little bird ones are super cute. Here we are, all finished up, you guys. I still have quite a few more I could make, and I made a couple on Facebook already. So that's nice. We've got 12 pairs of earrings. I'll zoom in a little more. We've got 12 pairs of earrings. This one is the little set with the birdie purple because I don't know what happened to that one <laughs> but yeah this is how they look all turned out I really like them a lot I, I I honestly really like these brown ones and these red ones which I found odd because I was like oh I'm gonna really like like the teal and the blue you know how I am with blue uh so but I actually really like these two and these I actually really like all of them <laughs> but yeah those are super cute so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave it a like, make a comment. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can find me on the internet again. Just over here doing beating. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, spectacular, amazing beating day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.